but here we go hello um welcome back to my youtube channel so the following videos that you are going to see is clusters in the past now they happened three weeks ago um and you will see exactly what it's like leading up to a wedding i think i got up to two days before the wedding um and i talk about who we've used so i will tag it all below um you can tell from looking back how stressed i was leading up to it but then on the day of the wedding i was so relaxed but no running up to it i was very stressed um but yeah so enjoy here we are we are about to sort all this out this is everything for the wedding and i finally got boxes so today you are going to see who have we used why we've used it and yeah exciting so i'm not looking pleasant i've just come back from the gym but alex hasn't seen everything in person and just seen it when it's over facetime and that's what you get when you're in a distance relationship so we're showing him everything um now so it's quite exciting i've just brought down some of the centerpieces i can show you guys once we build them what they look like oh it's all so exciting today is seven days till the wedding and i'm about to explode with happiness places we have visited so penrith just checking i've got all of them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yep so these were kindly made by correct me if i'm wrong how i pronounce this velamese i will tag it so let me show you the front of the box so you can see she was so lovely and she let me get a sample to begin with can you guys see that mum's just feeding the cats so they are really pretty very happy with them like a diy bride instead of having to fork out for champagne glasses that are personalized then i was i kindly approached this lady and um, she was so wonderful and i told her that i had different names for people and like mother of the bride i wanted and then i forgot myself and she sent me a free one of my name which is so sweet of her um but this is from a place called two little ducks she even tells you how to apply it uh let me show you it's on etsy i will tag everything here we go two little ducks and they are so reasonably priced i'm actually going to show you so let me get that in so i got nine i think no i got six did i I got six and it came to nine pounds. So it's so reasonably priced. And Pat was an absolute gem. Like an absolute worldie. So we are going to get champagne glasses and we're going to pop them on for the girls and Stephen, the maid of honour. <laughs> um, but they're just rose gold. I'm obsessed with rose gold. Hence the nails. <laughs> Very nice seating plan. But my family were highly concerned who they were going to be sat next to so i thought let's just make get something made quite cute so we got these made um and this was by the lovely amanda very reasonably priced and i even forgot one name and she sent that out to me literally straight away so yeah they're really cute and they get to keep them as well so that's the plus side there we go there is loads of family. <laughs> also, for our tables, so our table names are places we have been and that mean a lot to us. So my image is this, let me show you all. So on a little easel, that's us in Edinburgh. And then the sign Edinburgh, if I show you, 
as it were. We have 100 for the 10 tables. Which is cute. Let me just zoom in there. My mum will well be putting them in a handbag. Oh, she will. She'll be collecting them she's now. She's got cheese from 27 years ago. Really? Yeah. Aww. Oh, it says Siddle. And this is going... Oh, they're not going to break it, Mum, are they? I, I don't know. You mean we carry it now. Do you want to put them all, Do you want to pass them all to me and then we'll put them on top at the end? Yeah. The, the bases are fine because they're yeah, scared of it. Yeah, just these. We'll wrap them in a little bit of bubble. In a bit of bubble? Do you want me to go and grab some buble wrap? A bit of buble. So what else is for the tables, those names? These names... And you're letting them know. Um, they all know individually what um, table they're going to be sat on. Most of them. Is it the banana? It's retro sweetie shop. Oh. Fruit salads and blackjack. You know, the flumps are probably, you know, those banana foam yeah, things. Yeah, banana, getting that one there, isn't it? That's that good, aren't they? Oh, Mum's excited. So excited. That's not awesome. Right. Um, I don't think they should be right. on the floor. Okay. Nice. Oh, salad, so. mm -hmm. and also oh, vintage sweet shop for the wedding. There is more to come. I don't know. You probably all heard my mum doing that then. <laughs> so these are like a flashback sweets and then the vintage style bags, little scoop. We've called it Siddle's Sweet Shop. And Mum's very happy. <laughs> she looks like a Muppet. You know the Muppets, Mum? You look like one of them then. Oh. <laughs> so we need to get lollipops. Lollipop, do 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 do. You made my heart go. Two jars left. Well, we can get. Vegan jellies. Oh, we could pepper pigs. Caterpillars. Oh. Yes. M and S. M and S. Alex. Wow. Have you never lived? Wow. Oh, I'm so excited. They're not called pepper pigs, are they? What are they called? Imagine no, Colin the caterpillar. Colin the caterpillar. Oh, the ones with the little pig face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Colin the caterpillar and what's the other one? Pepper pig's not vegan, is he? No, no, no. Well, no, Mum, it's a cartoon. Oh, Percy Pig! Percy Pig! What's the girl called? Well, she's a bit of a bitch taking Percy Pig off as well, isn't she? Come on, let's get the box, please, for the sweetie. What? It's coming together. Oh, and you're making signs now. Do you? Can I have a little sweet shop? Stop. <laughs> Do you want me to get you a sign made? I feel like I could, you know. I feel like we should. Yeah, I feel like I could. Let me speak to Richard. Now, Richard from Replica Print. Excuse the face. You... <laughs> no, Mum, you... we've got an actual box upstairs. Oh, we have an actual box upstairs. Sorry to go. Yes, please. So, Richard from Replica Print has literally been our saviour for this whole organisation of the wedding. He's done our invites. If I haven't liked. <laughs> yeah, twice I've had to have my invites done. Not his fault, our fault. Um, it's not anyone's fault, really. It was one man's fault. It was one man's Mum, you're just making me go off on a tangent. Sorry. Scrap that. So, Let's go. Yeah, so we've had to have that done, the invites done. He's done our engagement invites. So he's now made us a logo for our wedding because we've asked for so many things. Even the littlest things, like I'm getting done wedding dares, which will be fun. Um, so yeah, exciting! I've just come straight from the gym, but you know. I feel like we should get monkey jellies to go with the bananas. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, monkey jellies. I think I'm an SD monkey. An SD monkey jellies. Sure. Do, do monkey jellies. Should we get some monkeys on top? Or should we mix it up and do bananas, monkeys, bananas? Oh my gosh. This is my. I'm going to skin a heart next to my table. Should we go into business? Wedding yeah, should we go into business, Mum? Actually, when I got my man to compliments, I had about all the little touches with it. I feel like I've done little touches. have done little touches. Don't 
Don't worry, oh, Alex. I've fit. not got you on. Not all gonna fit. They will fit, Mum. Make it happen. I'll take the empty one out for you. Yeah, you don't need the empty ones in there. Yeah, you don't need the empty I'm not one. I like that we separate the pink and white ones. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Hello, how are we? So it's two days before the wedding. Um, we are off to take all our things to the venue, drop it all off. Um, I'm out of breath because I'm very stressed. I had a mistake with one of my orders. I ordered it over a month ago. It's arrived and it's wrong. So I was a bit stressy, so my mum's fixing it at the moment. I've had my nails done. Can we see? No. <laughs> um, so yeah, so trying to stay calm. I'm gonna go for a massage today. Um, and yeah, here goes wedding time. And it is also extremely hot. Wedding of the year, but hot wedding of the year. Apparently, according on Saturday, it's gonna be um, like, quite overcast, quite windy, so I'd quite appreciate that. This is making me look really red. I'm really not red um, at all. It's just freckles, I think, yeah. So yeah, oh, I'm so excited for you to see everything. So have a lovely day and we'll be back soon. Oh. Hello, hello. Oh, hello, <laughs> my dog's, oh, he's back. Guess who's back? Sethy's back. Back again. <laughs> okay, calm down. We've got to speak to everybody now. Yeah, we do. Saz. Hmm. Let's just move this actually. So that it's just not got the dining room in it. Is that bad? No, that'll do. Right. So as you've just seen, take a seat. Sit down. So, obviously, <laughs> that's it. Sit, no, pause off the sofa. Right, I'm gonna see if we can do it. Sit down. Hun. Right, so, as you've just seen from all those um, videos, he's gone up to the camera now. <laughs> Seth, no. Um, as you can see from all those videos, um, I filmed straight up to two days before the wedding. Um, is he just trying to... <laughs> um, two days before the wedding, I'd had my nails done. I was still very stressed and it was because of that one delivery that didn't turn up. It doesn't affect me anymore now. Didn't affect the day. And I laughed that I was that much of a stress head. So the wedding itself was the most perfect wedding you could ever think of if I say so myself um <laughs> I just see this on the screen um it was the most perfect wedding day everyone loved it honestly the feedback was just amazing now I asked a few of you on my Instagram like if you had any questions about the wedding day um someone asked what was the favorite brand that I used it wasn't a brand it was a website that I use, I love Etsy. I'm just like the number one fan for Etsy. Like if I could be an ambassador to Etsy, my life would be complete. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that was just amazing. I will tag below who we used so that you can get like an idea. I will tag below as well my, um, my blog where I've tagged everybody, like all like the people that we used. So I'm gonna do, just quickly say thank you to everybody who came to the wedding it was you made our day the most beautiful day ever thank you to all the groomsmen who came all far and wide we had one groomsman that lives in dubai and um, we had somebody who lived down further south um of the country and a huge thank you to my bridesmaids flower girl and page boy like one of my bridesmaids come from dubai just to be my bridesmaid like Oh my gosh, that is the most amazing thing ever. Um, thank you to the church as well. We did that, send him a thank you card. Um, Father John, my gosh, he's just amazing. Um, a huge thank you to the Topping siblings. So that is Emily Topping, who did our videography, who came all the way from London just to do it. 
um, and her brother Joe Toppin, who, oh my lordy, is the most amazing photographer ever. And I can see that the Toppin siblings are so talented. And we did a sneak peek um, trailer. She made one for us um, a few days afterwards. And the feedback we got, the amount of people that said that they cried, um, mainly because my face felt the whole of it was this, because I just, it hit me that I was a bride when I was walking towards the church and I hugged my brother and my brother started welling up and I was like, oh, this is real, this isn't it? Oh, I just could not comprehend that this was real. And then I heard Sam, huge love to Sam, um, Sam Bennett, he was, sing he sang for us. Um, and also, just to plug it, see if you guys will go, I'll tag him below. He's actually just released a si <laughs> Are you messing? <laughs> Let me go back. What are you doing, mate? Um, Sam Bennett was our singer. He sang Hallelujah for me and my mum to walk down the aisle. My bridesmaids, I'm a page boy and my flower girl. Huge love to that boy. He is the most talented singer ever. Um, and he's just released a single um, on on iTunes, so I will tag that link below. Honestly, go check him out. He is just amazing. Um, another question. Wait, my phone. Oh. Right, I've got them saved. So another question was. Um, <laughs> Um, another question was that I've just read, which I don't really know how to explain this. What happened to your maid of honour? Okay, um, honestly, I don't want to go into it too much. I don't feel like it should have the airtime that it has, even though a lot of people, close friends and family have said I should do it. I just don't think it's right to do it. I have, all anyone needs to know is that that friendship's over. I was so grateful for all my bridesmaids, um, paid boy and flower girl, um, on the wedding day. They, did you see them? First of all, how what, baldy hot were they? They were just, I looked at them and I was like, oh my god <laughs> damn and um, they were so beautiful and they were so supportive and if you've been following a blog for quite some time especially this year it's not been a plain sailing year um that we would have liked um and yeah and it was just they have been through they've been there for everything like um, and a huge shout out as well. Shout out as well to my man of honour, um, Stephen. A lot of a conversation like man of honour. So he got here, bless him. He drove my car up because I'm the worst driver in the world. And I was like, wouldn't it be funny, man of honour? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, I didn't know how to slide it into a conversation. And pretty much from that day on, he was man of honour. I let all the guys know. He didn't, he, he then out of nowhere was like, right, I'm doing a speech. And I was like, I was so excited for this speech. I'm nervous at the same time because we've had such crazy times together. And like he said on the, like, I knew I was going to be his friend for life because he is as much as a nutcase as what I am. <laughs> um, it was just absolutely perfect from start to finish. All of it. I am so grateful for him, his family, me and his family as well. They've known me since I was eight, so I just adore them. Um, a huge shout out as well to all our friends and family, all our guests that were there. And we got married and then we lived together. We've never lived together. Like imagine if it didn't work out. Oh my God, and we were married. But don't worry, it's all been okay. Um, and we want to say we've we wish we could do it again. I said to Alex the other day, I said, I'm in mourning. I'm in mourning over our own wedding. So it was just amazing. Um, let's see what other questions we've got because I've gone off on a tangent. What was your nighttime evening? What was your nighttime? 
Oh, entertainment. So we had our nighttime entertainment. Nighttime entertainment was um, reality disco, which is a father and son that peeps. Um, and I used to work in a hotel. I was 19 and I said to them when I saw them doing a wedding I was like I'm gonna book you when I get married and here we are I booked them they were amazing and then he recommended Ashley Wood who <laughs> who is honest to God oh he is the best saxophone player I have ever laid my eyes on he was amazing um and oh honestly just makes me so like I can't describe to you, people were on that dance floor at all times. That dance floor was never empty. And he was just amazing. And do you know what else I found out as well? Just a few celeb parties. So I was like, oh, I've got a celebrity saxophone player. <laughs> um, who, what else did we ask for? What were your favourite bits at the wedding? Oh. So... I'm going to do my favourite bit for the ceremony and my favourite bit for the reception. So my favourite bit for the ceremony was, I don't remember walking down the aisle at all. Like, it's all a blur. I just remember hearing Sam. And I remember hearing Sam and looking straight at Alex. Alex looking at the lads. And then looking back at me and just smiling. And when you're a little girl, you always imagine how your husband would look at you when you walk down the aisle when it's your wedding day. And yeah, I know it's very Disney, and if you know me, come on, I'm very Disney. And um, yeah, and it was an image in my head that I'm going to treasure forever, because that was everything I ever wanted. And the one thing from the reception was we did our first dance, which was pre-recorded from the In Cahoots, I will tag them below, and they did A Million Dreams. And we were dancing away, did a few twirls, if you've seen it on Instagram, anyway. And then we invited everybody onto the dance floor. <coughs> I swear to you, every single person in that room, over 100 people, got up and danced on that dance floor. And we didn't expect it. <laughs> Oi, we're going through a nice part here. Sit down. Come here, hun. Sit. Good boy. Why oh, are you lying next to me? Um, we just did not expect for everybody to come up and dance with us. I'm not going to cry. I've cried a lot. I've recorded this three times. <laughs> um, that is a moment that we both looked at each other and we were like, oh my God. Like, there's over 100 people on the glittery dance floor right now. Like, this is just absolutely amazing. And it meant so much to both of us. Like, that song means so much to us. Like, if you listen to the lyrics, it's just beautiful. And it was just, again, like the ceremony, it's an image that we will both keep in our heads forever. Because it was just beautiful. I'm going to cry. Um, yeah, so how I want to wrap up this. It's the end of talking about the wedding. It's the next step. You're all going to be seeing what our house looks like really soon. Obviously, it's a different type of house. It's a military house, like what you get when you're married. It's called wedding quarters. Um, and I'm going to show you exactly how we've made it into a home instead of just a house. Um, hopefully, you guys will get some sort of inspo from it. But now I'm going to leave you with the teaser trailer of what Emily Topping had put together. And again, if you came to our wedding, we are so grateful. Thank you for making all the stress worth it because honestly you all every single one of you mean so much to us so here is the trailer do enjoy please like subscribe follow me on instagram thank you each other sometimes life gets hectic and you become too busy but remember to make time for just you two be patient sometimes it's easy to let emotions run high and lose your temper but always try to take a step back and look at the bigger picture